So today is another Becoming Sam update because I had my appointment with Dr. Seal from Gentica. To be honest, it isn't much of an update because because I had already gotten the bridging prescription from Dr. Lorimer at Gendercare when I went to see Dr. Seal. He didn't really do anything for me per se, it was just like another appointment, it just kind of felt like a routine appointment, but a very expensive one. <laughs> the appointment with Dr. Seal was actually quite similar to the one with Dr. Lorimer, so it was also an hour long, and he asked a lot of the similar questions in terms of how I felt about puberty and when I knew I was trans and stuff, and it felt like he was very much re-diagnosing me as transgender again and in his actual report which he speaks at the end in front of you so you can correct him he did mention that he agrees with Dr Lorimer's previous diagnosis. He did ask a lot of extra questions so more in depth about my family and how they felt about me coming out also a lot of questions more physically in terms of how I felt about my chest and about downstairs and what I like to do and don't like to do. A lot of questions to do with sex as well um, and things like that. He had a quick little mention about contraception too, which I guess was good. I mean, nothing that he surprised me with, but um, he does inform people on safe ways of having sex. But yeah, a lot of stuff like that. A lot of the questions were very forward. They were very direct. And yeah, if you are uncomfortable with these kinds of things, I don't know whether it's maybe worth mentioning beforehand or just know that that is something that you're going into. He very much does not like beat around the bush. He gets to the point very quickly and yeah. I felt like in my opinion, I didn't connect with Dr. Seal as much as I did with Dr. Lorimer, but he was running late. And I feel like a part of that was that he was just rushing so that his next appointment wouldn't be so late so I did spend my full hour with him but it felt like he was just trying to be really really quick about it. He also did a few like basic health checks so he checked my height, my weight and my blood pressure and he also reviewed the blood tests that I had done previously. He gave me a little more information about what's coming up next so in terms of what to do with my next blood test that I'm gonna have in what like two weeks time now and when we can start talking about maybe moving on to Nibido away from sustenance. But he explained all the reasons why they start you and then why they started me on sustenance as well. There was a lot of information, a lot of things that I had already known, but um, I guess he just kind of had to say, I had to make sure that you know, and all of that. But yeah, there's not really much to say about the appointment. At the end, he kind of dictated everything that we spoke about and was constantly checking that I agreed with what he was saying about me. And yeah, I think it was all pretty accurate. He, he can figure you out pretty well from the few questions that he asked you. And that was it. I gave him the money and I walked out and that was that over. So it's not really much of an appointment, I'm guessing, if you already have had your bridge prescription um, with Dr. Lorimer, which is what I had. But anyway, it was an appointment. That's out of the way. That's that. Sorry for the two Becoming Sam updates in a row. I guess a lot has happened this week, but I will have a few other videos coming up soon. If you like this video, give it a nice little like. If you have any questions or anything, then shoot them down below. And if you're interested in my journey, then please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.